Hey, you done here? <clears throat> okay, well, I got my uh, cleaner that I use for the coffee pot. And, uh, um, it's called uh, Clearly Coffee by Urnex. Urnex. Like an urn, you know, that you <laughs> can't think of an example. Well, there's some pictures. Well, it's just stuff that it cleans. But anyway, you can clean plastic and stainless and uh, and kinds. I got I had three bottles of it. I think this is the only one I got left, and it's not full. I uh, when I bought it, you could get three bottles for so cheap. It was better to do that. It had real good reviews, so I went ahead and did it. So I've got about three quarters of a cup of warm, pretty hot water still in there. You know, the previous test of most a third of the water or so leaked out. You could measure it and stuff. I don't think it really tells you a certain amount. I've just experimented with it and figured out what I thought worked good. And uh, I'll put a little, got a little on my fingers by accident. I'm trying to see if I can. There. I don't want to burn the hands. So I went and filled up my drinking cup so that I could fill this up. I didn't want to carry, make two trips. I'm tired. I've been working all this all day. <clears throat> so, oh yes. I was thinking I would like to get it level. Oh, and I also need something to, oh, actually, I think I can pour it. So I'll go ahead and pour it in there, and then we, you'll never get it all in there with that lid on it, though. <clears throat> I missed with some, but I'm doing pretty fairly good. Wasting that good cleaner. Oh shoot! Usually you can turn it around that way. That that that's one thing about these things. The uh, filling area is very long and narrow. So you got if you turn it the other way, that's what happens. I just dumped a bunch of water out. Out. Yes, my cord's wet and everything now. Well, I gotta dry that off before I plug it in. <clears throat> Luckily, most of my stuff is within the length of this 16 foot mic cable, or I'd be yanking on it. Got a little bit on my extension cord. Luckily, its receptacle was pointing downward though. So. Put this in a way that it won't. It's not, not working good. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. Wanted it to kind of be. Well, I guess I don't want it pointing up, so I'm going to spill water. Let's get it around this side instead. I just realized. Oh, and it's sitting on the cord anyway. There we go. Now. Yeah, get it over here, away from the drain zone. Plug it up. There we go. Yeah, this is a 20 amp cord on a 20 amp circuit. So, I want it to... I wanted to make sure, you know, it didn't suffer from any lack of electricity. Now, I've got a little small level I'm going to get try to level that thing up as good as I can. There we go. Now, let's see, uh, that, this is curved, so you can't set the level on there. But what I can do, set it right in there. Yeah, I knew it was out of level a lot. Got this board, so it's a three-quarter. Maybe it'll be a good... Oh, it's already too much. What do I need? I think I need more like a half inch. I was hoping it would be just right. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, here's a, you're not a mind reader, are you? You don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm going to get a piece of, this is three eighths. So that should be where I can put it in the right place and get it level. I guess a little more. Yeah, it lacked a lot being level, so you don't want it to be acting up because you, wow, it's way off the level that way. Might that three quarter board might work on that side, but I'm gonna have to figure out how to. Well, that took most of all my drinking water. I don't like that. I knew it would. Uh, this is gonna be more tricky than I thought. Much more tricky. This is why my original reason why I thought I don't wanna. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah. I accidentally hit the something that made it shut the lid and it should quit beeping. There we go. Sometimes it won't quit beeping until you unplug it. I'll leave it unplugged until I get it level. Let's see. Another piece of. There we go. Yeah, that's probably somewhere in the right range. How my cables. I've been over and something happened to my cable and now I can't straighten back up. Okay, let's see. Getting pretty close to being a level. I think I need my... Yeah, I'm going to need to be able to put that other one in the front. not level but it's better it's not, still not quite in the deal hey I don't have to use I'm gonna use this one over here oh that's where my problem is gonna be you don't want it there you go. That ain't thick enough Like putting in a door or something. It's getting to be ridiculous. Yeah. All right, that's right on the bubble. It'll stay. Now it's way too high. Ah. I guess it should be more that way. Driving me crazy. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna get this other one out. I may have to just settle for one way or the other. So the whole thing needs to be up a certain amount. Okay, that's pretty level there. Yeah, I don't know that I can get it. Well, that's still leaning this way a lot. Okay, that's better. It's close, it's in, within the bubble. Oh, and then it rocks. And it's way off over there. I'm sure our kitchen cabinets aren't perfect either. I think left to right is more important than front to back. It's become a complex problem that my brain's not working. It's not fixing. <clears throat> 
complex geometry problem, I think. Yeah, it gets to where it, it won't rock. It won't rock and roll. It won't rock, it wants to roll. Yeah, yeah that's perfect that way. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Let's plug it in. Use this board to help keep that from sliding. Put that one over there. Okay. Shut the lid. Round her off. Something's out of place. Oh, I haven't put this in there yet. I don't know if I can do that without seeing, but I have been doing it every day for about 20 years, so maybe I can. Not without seeing, though. Maybe if I... It's usually pretty hard to get this. Well, this one's turning pretty good. Usually I always put the bottom in by itself. I'm letting it beep so that I can hear it turn off. What are you doing? I can't get it together. There we go. Yeah, and then it falls apart when you're trying to put it in there. There. I think it might, it, if, that, if that blade doesn't turn, you have to stick your finger in there and turn it. There we go. That tells you it's okay. Yeah, now the lights are working like they should. So, uh, got it going again. I actually meant to turn it with the opening towards the camera. Unless I want to carry the camera and hold it. I guess I'll grab the camera because we won't know. We won't be able to see if it's working. It's a lot easier to move the camera at this point than that. So. Oh, it's like, why can't I see where I'm aiming? Because my little deal flips and it was flipped the other way. Okay, let's get the light again. Hey, it's going where it's supposed to. I think it was just because of the way it was leaning. Leaning to the left so much. So don't hurt it to lean forward. Well, it does a little bit. Okay, the it's coming out right up there. Which probably means the basket is full. It's not running over the pot. It's running over right there, up over the top. So it, either it's leaking out. Yeah, uh, it's got a good stream, like it should. But it's leaking out over the top, a little bit coming out. I just think the basket's not draining as fast as it should. It seems okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run this once. And uh, then I will... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to lay that thing over there. Water, no telling where water is going to end up. And then I will uh, I'll place to set the camera over here. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to set it back over there. I could actually move it and experiment with what that causes. might do that. Drink water. Okay. It'd be really ridiculous if the only thing that's wrong with it is it's just not too out of level. <clears throat> 